Here's the products we like best for finishing our signs. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna give you our favorites when it comes to interior and exterior. I am not a professional finisher by any stretch of the imagination, but I've used a lot of different products and these are the ones that I like the best for what we do. So we're gonna break this down into categories. We have spray cans and we have volume. There'll be subcategories, interior and exterior. So let's get into it. So when it comes to spray cans, there's really only two that we use. We use mostly the Rust-Oleum Clear, and this is great for all interior signs. There's a lot of different choices out there, you guys. The main reason we use the Rust-Oleum Clear is because it's 650 a can. They're all gonna be interior signs that we use this for, so you don't have to worry about weather, you don't have to worry about harsh elements or anything like that. And if that's the case, there's really no point in spending $15 or $20 a can if you can get the same can for $650. It also dries super fast. I can get maybe three or four coats of this in an hour on a sign. If it's drying outside here in the desert, it dries within five or 10 minutes. One thing you wanna make sure with all of your finishes is before you put the final coat on, you wanna give it a light sand with maybe 500 grit or something along those lines to knock down all the rough edges because pretty much all finishes will raise the grain. So to get that smooth gloss finish that you're always looking for, give it a light sand before your last coat. Now when it comes to exterior signs, the Helmsman Spar Urethane Clear Gloss is my go-to in a can. Now when I'm doing signs in California and I'm working out of my garage, all I use is can because I don't have the critter gun or an air compressor and I don't really have the room to put all that stuff in. Now the downfall of this stuff is it's about 12 to 15 bucks a can depending on where you get it, but it works awesome. All of my exterior signs I've ever done have been with a Helmsman Spar Urethane. I haven't had a single issue with any of my signs going bad, no matter where they're going. I put usually between eight to 10 coats, which can get expensive, but you want these signs to last for your customers for a long time. You give it a good smooth spray for each one of your coats and it goes on really, really well. All right, second category. This is what I call volume. Basically, you're buying a liquid in a can, quart or a gallon, and then you're just applying it to your sign. So there's a couple ways you can apply this stuff. You can use a brush or you can use a spray gun. Now, if you're gonna use a brush, here's a caveat. You definitely want to put a couple spray coats on before you put a brush coat. If you apply this stuff with a brush, you could have some kind of a reaction between the black and the finish and you could streak it across your sign. The other issue with applying with a brush is it might foam, especially if you're doing outset letters and it really becomes a pain to get that foam out of there. Those two reasons, I just don't use a brush when I'm applying a finish to a sign. Rather than using a brush, I recommend using some type of a spray gun. Now I've used a lot of different spray guns over the years and I was never really satisfied. It always seemed really cumbersome and the cleanup was a hassle. Then I found the Critter Gun. The Critter Gun for me was a game changer. It's so user friendly, it's easy cleanup, it's so easy to work on, there's just not a lot of moving parts there. The Critter Gun definitely changed the game for me when it came to finishing. In the volume category, I've got an interior product and I've got a couple exterior products. The interior product that I use is polycrylic. It's water-based, it's super easy to use. Once you put four or five coats on, it's got a nice gloss. Uh, it's not super expensive. If I've got a big project, this is what I would use with your Critter Gun. I think this is the one that we used on the big box that we made for Ryan's Amy and it worked out great. So let's talk about volume exterior product. Now, several years ago, I was turned on to this Czar water-based exterior polyurethane. Chris Berry, the Idaho painter, has got a huge channel, super nice guy. We did a collaboration. He's the one that turned me on to this and I've been using it ever since. I really, really like it. So this is, again, Czar water-based exterior polyurethane. Now, the other option is the Minwax, same as the spray can, except this is a water-based bar urethane and this works really well too. I haven't used it a lot, but where I have used it, it seemed to work just fine. Again, I like the Czar a little bit better. I've had really good results with the Czar, but these are both uh, comparable as far as price goes, somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks a quart, depending on where you buy it. There it is. We know this, this is a super fast video, but we get questions all the time on what we use and what we like. You guys may have your favorites. I know there's a 
lot of people out there using different stuff. Hey, we want to hear comments from you. If you've got something that you really like to use, let us know what it is. Maybe we'll give it a try and put it on video. Anyway, guys, we so appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. Click that little bell icon. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.